Today is August 9th, 2022, and it is day number four of my true hike on the coast to coast walk in northern England. I'm starting the day in a village called Glasmere, which is a very charming place they have here. It's uh, very popular with tourists, um, and I noticed there are a lot of people who come here. Um, in the summer to do day hikes. Uh, this is the Lake District region. I think they have a national park here with uh, many food paths where people can go uh, hiking for the day. And um, so there are a number of tourists. It's summertime in the UK, so it's a beautiful day today, as you can see, uh, considering this is the United Kingdom, you know, they have a lot of rain in this uh, region. And uh, so the idea today is to hike nine miles to a place called uh, Glen Reading. I'm gonna have to go up a mountain, which I believe is this one right ahead of me right now, as you can see it. It's not very high, but there will be a gain of elevation, and that's why uh, today is going to be a short day uh, of hiking. Uh, actually, the fourth stage of the coast-to-coast -coast, uh, walk is from the village of Glasmere to a place called Petterdale. But I was not able to find a place to stay in Petterdale, so I'm walking to this uh, other village called uh, Clan reading, which is right by a lake, so I think it's going to be nice. So we'll see how the day is going to be like. Hello.
So this is my dear hiking friend, Camino John from Sacramento, California, taking a nice break. Yes. So what do you have to say, man, about the coast to coast so far? Uh, a little warm today. Warm, huh? <laughs> but so far, I hear this is uh, an easy day, so I'm happy. Yeah. And I took the low road, by the way. Oh, yesterday? Yes. Yeah, no. Did you take the low road or higher? No, I took the higher one. You missed all the, the wonderful waterfalls. Twice or three yeah. times as beautiful as this. But this is beautiful, man. Yeah. I must tell you, I'm really enjoying this. I didn't expect this to be so nice. And I hope you're enjoying as well, my yep. friend. Yep. So Camino John, he's also a vlogger. He's got his YouTube channel. He's done uh, Camino Portuguese and other hikes. Yep. And it's been a pleasure meeting him. We've yeah. been hiking together since pretty much at the beginning, yep. right? We met uh, on the first night, right? Second night. Second night, yeah. Second day, second day. Second day, yeah. Yeah, that's right, second day. All right, man, nice talking to you. Yep. The most common question people I meet on the trail ask me whenever I tell them about the different through hikes I have done in this uh, last 10 years is if I am retired. And usually I say that uh, I'm one of those uh, rare cases of people who have the uh, privilege to work from the trail. As long as I have internet service, I can do my work. So I actually have my own business and I have people working with me for quite some time, people that I trust, that I know I can just go away and uh, they, they are there. And, but anyway, I, I have to work from the trail. I need to uh, have internet service so I can answer messages. And uh, so in 2020, when I hiked the Appalachian Trail, this was the first time I hiked on a trail uh, uh, of over 2000 miles. So it took me almost five months to finish and uh, I had never been away for such a long time and uh, but that was uh, the year of the pandemic so uh, businesses were or had to slow down I actually had to uh, close my business for an entire month and uh, and then on the AT I had service pretty much uh, everywhere and uh, 
But on the PCT, it was a little bit different, uh, especially going through the Sierra Nevada. I had no service for days, and uh, that was a little difficult to me, you know, kind of put some pressure uh, on me because I, I, there were certain days I just had to work and, uh, and I had no service. So this is one of the reasons from time to time I have to check in at a hotel. Uh, I need a good uh, uh, internet connection. So I use uh, Wi-Fi also because I'm, I'm vlogging. So I need to post videos and uh, so, yeah, but uh, uh, nowadays, most, more recently, I, I started to uh, have doubts about this uh, um, thought of, uh, of uh, uh, which, make, which makes me say that I have the privilege of working on the trail because sometimes I, I just don't want to bother with business. I want to be able to enjoy the trail and... Uh, but I, I cannot, uh, uh, especially when I'm in places like this. Surrounded by mountains with no internet service. Yeah, I just want to focus on the trail and not think about uh, work. But uh, uh, here, actually, I have no service. What I usually do when I go to a foreign country is I, I buy a prepaid SIM card from a local phone company. So that way I don't have to use my uh, SIM card from the US. Uh, but here in the UK, uh, you know, on this coast to coast uh, walk, um, you know, I hardly have service whenever I'm up in the mountains. Yesterday though, when I reached the summit of this uh, mountain i had service and actually there was a wonderful view so i stooped i stopped for a whole hour and uh and i did my work from there so in this last uh, 10 years i've had uh, some interesting places where i worked from i call them uh, trail offices and uh, and yesterday i i had one of those one of these places which i really enjoyed and uh but anyway so yeah i am not retired and uh and i work from the trail actually today i have no doubt that uh, walking is a powerful tool for anyone whose work is mostly uh, making decisions. So in many circumstances that I was in doubt of something that uh, it, I had to do or if I should do it, uh, after a couple of hours of walking, I had a clear mind of uh, what needed to be done. So, and I've been using uh, uh, walking on my uh, uh, work uh, to help me make decisions quite a lot in this last uh, 10 years. Um, um, you know, just spending uh, hours of the day uh, walking, especially when it's a, an easier trail, uh, a section that you don't need to be focused on the trail so you won't uh, uh, lose balance or whatever. It's, uh, you know, I just focus on whatever I, it's on my mind that I have to decide. And um, after a couple of hours of walking, it's clear uh, what needs to be done. And uh, so I, I definitely recommend uh, walking to anyone who is in that position, uh, whose job is to make decisions.
It was another day of joy on the trail. I hiked uh, nine miles from the village of Grasmere to Glen Reading. It was basically a narrow day. I hiked only for half of the day. I had the other uh, half of the day just to enjoy the village here. It's really beautiful. They have a wonderful lake back there. I think you may be able to see it. And uh, it's just a beautiful region here in the Lake District. And it's green, they have mountains. Uh, the villages are so charming. And I just finished eating my dinner at the pub. And now I'm gonna go to my room so I can rest. And tomorrow I'll continue my through hike on the coast to coast walk from the Irish Sea to the North Sea in Northern England.